Yaystar Live Chat is now available, which means you can create live chat on your website using Yaystar P Service PBX and have it functioning as a digital channel for your contact center. You will not only have a live chat, but you will also have message queues, logs, and reports to assemble a complete contact center. In this video, we will show you how to make it happen step by step. First of all, live chat is supported on P Service Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition. So as long as you have the Enterprise Plan subscribed and the FQD activated, and your PBX has been upgraded to the latest version, you can have the live chat. One more thing before we get started. As always, if you need a menu, please go to the description. All right, now let's get in. We log into the P Service PBX admin portal and go to Messaging. Then choose Message Channel. Here we click on Add to create a new live chat. Firstly, we name this channel. Put in the domain of our website to which we want to embed the live chat widget. Then we go to Interaction Mode. Here we can define if we want to chat only for our website or if we want to enable phone calls along with the chat. Once enabled, it means that during a session, the visitor and the agent can switch from chat to phone calls. If you want to enable phone calls, please make sure that your website supports HTTPS. Then we can decide if to assign a specific extension or a queue to deal with incoming messages from this live chat. We have the option to enable WebRTC inbound call. Once enabled, visitors will be able to place a WebRTC-based call from the live chat widget. To set it up, you need to create a proper WebRTC chunk and inbound route first. Check on this video for a configuration tutorial. You can also get the manual in the description of this one. Then, in the advanced section, we can decide the quantity of maximum concurrent calls. You can set as many as 10 concurrent calls. Then we can decide if we want to allow sending images or text only. For the last part, we can define the waiting time to close session automatically. It means that if there's no action during the configured time, the session will be closed by the system. Then we can move on to the display and appearance tab to customize our live chat. Here we can choose between light mode and dark mode. We can change the theme color to make sure it looks right on our website. Then we can select the minimized window type and chat icon. For the next part, we can go to the display section to configure the default agent avatar and name displayed in the chat interface for visitors. We can go for the real name and profile of the agent or select the noun to display the default setup. Now in the message section, we can optimize our workflow. First of all, we can choose the display language for the widget. Then we can set up pre-chat form to collect visitor information and a data privacy and consent showing. Of course, we can customize them if needed. For the last part, we can set up auto-reply text for various scenarios. Well, we can keep the default or change them as we need. Then, we click on Save. Now in the pop-up, a code will be showing which is needed to embed the live chat to our website. Copy it or receive it by email. Now we can enable Yaystar Live Chat on the website. Paste the code snippet before the closing buddy tag in the HTML code for your designed website. And now the live chat is ready. So that was how we set up the live chat on the website by using Yaystar P-Service PBX. Hope you guys like it and don't forget to give it a try on your system. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.